You're hearing the victory music for the first time of the season, and that is because for the first time of the season, the Knicks get a win down in Atlanta, the place where you could always get your game back on track, maybe except for the playoffs. But coming off of a tough, tough home opener against the Celtics, man, Jalen Brunson, R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, the Knicks' big three would not be denied. This Knicks team was bombing away from downtown. Another solid night from downtown for the Knicks, 45%. A career high eight threes made for Jalen Brunson on the way to 31 points. 26 for Broadway Barrett. 17 and almost a triple double for Julius. And Dante DiVincenzo with 16 off the bench, man. Wasn't a defensive affair, but certainly enough firepower to get the job done. And what is a Nick game without a cardiac Nick affair? Yes, they would have you tuning up your pacemaker to make sure that you knew this was the regular season. So it almost got ugly, but we got out of there with the win, man. 126 to 120. The orange and blue get back on track and head on to New Orleans to face Zion on the gang, man. CP the franchise, JD Sports Talk on the ones and twos. You know, one of the things I was talking about was that, especially with Jalen Brunson, it's like you rarely see him have back-to-back -back bad games. You go back to last year, every time he throws up a stinker, he comes back strong. And in this game, it was just that. And it's not to say that his shot selection or anything was a little bit different than the Boston game. I thought in the Boston game, it's just a lot of his shots just weren't falling. The approach was still the same. You, you could just see which direction he was headed in from the first half. He was lighting it up. And uh, that would just continue, man. 31 points for Brunson. Eight made threes. I thought he was great. And uh, shout out to RJ. Those, those are my two guys tonight, man. RJ was terrific tonight. Carrying over from the Boston game. 26 points for RJ. 9 of 15 from the field. Well, my favorite stat, bro. Six assists. My favorite stat is six assists. Because what I've been looking for for RJ Barrett. Again, it's only game two. But you've seen it now. Better attacks to the basket. Don't be so predictable. Don't just show the defense that I'm going full steam ahead to the basket to try to get this layup. Make the extra pass. Find the open man. Make your reads. And hey, how about a stop and pop mid-range from the baseline, Jimmy Butler-esque, when you thought they were going to put the game away. I loved RJ Barrett's approach tonight, man. Well, well, CP, I, I, I was saying this. This is newfound territory for this team where going into the season, day one, there's expectations. Right. Like expectations have arrived for this team. And you look at them losing the first game uh, with some of the top players not playing well. And tonight, when you look at the schedule, tonight felt like a game that I don't want to say must win, but it's like we got to have this win. Yeah, yeah. And boy, did they respond. They came out early playing very well. And that was the first positive sign for me is – how after, you know, that game against the Celtics, you come out on the road and, you know, you play this well early, which was also the home open of the Hawks. Hawks. And the Hawks, they have not lo they have not lost in five years their home openers. Mm. They're 5-0 and oh in the last five years. Trey Young's been there for six. And so when you look at that and the way that they played, it was a very, very good game. And you talked about, you know, Jalen Brunson. And him having a bad game last game, you had tweeted that. And I quote tweeted and I said, that's what all stars do. Yeah. And today was an important game for him as well, because he is also trying to stamp his all star status. And you can't come out here having a slow, a slow start mm -mm. to the season. And then I'll go to RJ CP. And I think he's been the most positive development of this team early. And I know it's only two games, but it's because of this. RJ has gotten off the slow starts almost every year. Mm -hmm. And I've said how we can't just accept that. Like we you can't just say, okay, you know, he's gonna get off to a slow start. Let's wait, let's wait till game 20 and then he'll get it going. No, no, no. It enough of that. Enough of that. You just had a great playoff run. Let's build on that. Build. He's done that, played well against the Celtics. And tonight, man, you can you can make an argument. He had his best all-around game. All around game. You, you can make an argument in terms of, like, important game. This could be his best game because every time he had the ball, CP, he had impact on the game. And it felt like all of his plays, all of his possessions, all of his shots 
were important parts of the game, important yep. possessions. Yep. And so he responded to that. Great game by uh, R.J. Barrett. Um, great job by Julius. Just really just taking what the defense gave him. And he had a great game. 17 points, 12 rebounds, 9 assists. And so when you think about, you know, just team playing for each other and, and making each other better, nine assists for Julius Randle, quickly six off the bench. He had six for RJ, five for Brunson, 30 assists overall for the Knicks on uh, on, on 43 made field goals. I, 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 I liked how uh, I like Randle's game today. I, I like Randle's game tonight. A, a outstanding game. I, I, I would I would say this is the type of game that many and the type of role that a lot of people feel is his best role for this, the way this team is, is constructed in terms of, he only took, I mean, was it 10 shots? Was it 10 shots he took? Tonight? He How took shots 10, he took? 10 shots, 10 shots. 10 shots in 34 minutes, right? Three of seven from three. So nothing six of eight from the free throw line. It, nothing felt, you know, really forced. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing that I've been impressed with him so far early, CP, and I know it's only two games, but have you noticed like his demeanor, his attitude on the floor? He's like more even yeah. keeled. He's more composed. You would think after, you know, national TV game against the Celtics, and I didn't mention this, but I was impressed because, you know, in the losing effort, sometimes, you know, it, the analysis is a little different. But, mm -hmm. you know, him going off a 522 uh, shooting night on national television, even – against the Celtics, I didn't see any moment where I'm like, uh-oh, that's the old Randall right there. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look at his face. Look at his facial expression. Look, he's frustrated. He's, he's you know, he's he has his head down. Mm. None of that. And he stayed true. We lost. He didn't have a shoot, good shooting night, but he stayed composed. And tonight, he did the same thing. The king of New York. The king of New York missed the layup at the end? Yeah. The cut yeah. the two? Trey did miss did a layup. No, Trey. I couldn't. No, I'm not. I'm, maybe I'm watching a different game, but I could have sworn yeah. he missed a wide open layup. Sure did. But that, let's not let's not talk about that, right? Mm -hmm. So I was listening to you guys, and I have to disagree with some of your RJ RJ um, commentary for one reason. Mm -hmm. We have two players on on our team that are late bloomers that became all star level later. And that is Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle. Mm -hmm. So now when you go through the history of RJ, you see he was good. He, he shot good one year, 40%, and then he stopped shooting. Then he was good defensively one year. Then he was not good defensively. Yeah. Maybe this is the year, him playing in Canada, him getting the reps in, where he puts it all together. Not okay. every – not success and growth is not – a straight path. Sometimes mm -hmm. you go up, sometimes you go down, mm -hmm. and everything. So mm -hmm. let's just have that kind of faith. That's fair. And JD, I'm I'm the same way with Tips. He had a great game, Tips. Tips had a great rotation. Matter of fact, you know how I knew Tips was great? Grimes dropped that ball in the corner when we were doing the crazy stuff at the end. Guess what? He called Dante to the to the bench. And you know what he said? You know, no, no, sit back down. Sit back down. It's all right. He, he caught mm. himself. He's like, oh, I'm overreacting. I'm doing too much right now. It's okay. Let Grimes stay in. After that, I was like, all right, he's good. Mm. And you know what? We're a good team. We need to get behind this team. Depth matters in the NBA. And let's just keep on rolling. Um, three things. Three things. This is going to be a breakout year for RJ. Mm -hmm. I feel it. Secondly, I think being that it's a contract year for quickly, I think he might try to do too much. Mm. I think he might try to do too much, which we're in. I think he should just try and play into the system. Mm -hmm. If you see him tonight, he was taking a lot of shots that, you know, he could have relaxed and made an extra pass. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And three, I don't think that they should break up the, the, the bunch for a star because if you look at it, look at how we played Boston and we missed – damn near 15 free throws mm. uh you know we can we can play with anybody and don't forget ladies and gentlemen a blockbuster event on thursday november 9th man jalen brunson meet and greet hosted by cp the franchise man and that will be at 
Dave and Buster's at the Palisade Center in West Nyack, New York, 7 p.m. on Thursday, November 9th. And Brunson will be uh, signing autographs and taking pictures with the fans. So you got to get your tickets, man. Go to Hall of Fame signings.com to get your tickets. The franchise and Brunson. Let's go, man. Going to be a great night. Shout out to our sponsors. Uh, shout out to Mike Elite for putting the event together. And shout out to Farzana Law Firm for backing us and always supporting KFTV, man. So, JD, great show, man. We'll see you tomorrow. And uh, everybody else, enjoy the weekend, man. Let's go, Knicks. Great win. We out of here, man. Great show as usual, man. Peace.